everyone else might have forgotten what you did, but I don't forget so easily. A long, long time ago, before I was an animator, I had a best friend called Jay. He was a nerd. He was a nerdy kid. I was kind of a nerdy kid as well, I guess. And I was in the playground at school when my friend Jay came over and he said, Howard, you've got to check out this animation called Tarboy. It's on newgrounds.com. You gotta watch it, man. I do what I normally do. I say, oh yeah, maybe I'll get around to it at some point. And later on, he brought it up again. And I thought, wow, it must have made a really big impression on him. He's talking about that Tarboy film again. God, okay, I will watch it, okay. I watched this film called Tarboy and uh, it rocked my world. Then I found out that it was made pretty much by just one guy and his name was James Lee. And he's one of the major guys that got me into animation. As it turns out, he never stopped innovating from that film. I've gone on to learn animation and animation has become like a, a major part of my life probably the biggest part of my life. I'm so happy to see that James is still making animations. He's been crossing over into this middle ground between 2D animation and live action and kind of vlogging almost. He's doing some wild things that are at the intersection between 2D animation and live action. He builds this very stylized live action footage and then he manipulates it to look and, and almost become 2D animated. Let's watch a bit of his animations and we will be able to pick out some things. I highly recommend subscribing to him. And I think that this film that I'm gonna show you called A Life Without Facebook, I think this is gonna go down as like a modern classic. Oh, marky, marky, mark, mark. It's been a while, hasn't it? Everyone else might have forgotten what you did, but I don't forget so easily. Almost everything you saw there was shot with a camera, with very stylized lighting. I wanted to stop on this shot especially because I just absolutely love what he's done with the glasses, the smoke, the composition, heightened contrast. He's got some kind of lighting effect set up in the background. I think he's got his hands on a projector light. I think that's how he does some of his effects that you'll see later on. And, and that's him, that's James Lee. Always kind of obscured face. One thing I don't know how he does is the reflective glasses. In certain shots you'll see a texture. It's kind of like a dotted texture across the glasses. So that's a bit of a mystery. Maybe one of you guys has already worked that out. Let's go back to where he's got his hand on the wall. So he's got a little space here on his wall and he's probably scraped it down just normal speed perhaps and then he's just done just a classic animation move. It's typically known as staggering moving those frames back and forth in this kind of way really quickly on ones. This is why other YouTube vloggers could never pull something like this off because they don't have that background and knowledge of 2D animation. I think it's time I gave you a little piece of my mind. You've been a very shitty friend lately. You said I could trust you, but when I told my friend my secrets, and she told you, you told everyone. Look at you and your cool friends talking about us plebs behind our backs. This brings me on to the second thing I really want to talk about with this. He, as a live action performer, is restricting and changing his movements to be more animated in his performance. So you can see with this one, he's kind of swiveling like that. He's choosing to not move everything, giving him this limited animation look. Also with the mouth shapes, he's pronouncing everything. You can see the teeth. You're kind of told to do that when you're doing lip sync animation is just pronounce everything a little bit more. Uh, well, at least in the West. I find that really interesting as a concept. The other thing, is that he is actually adjusting the timing of his movements. So that means he's got his footage that he's performed and that's all running consistently 24 frames per second, let's say. He will actually space apart some of them to be on twos and threes. And he'll actually take away frames, take out frames to make it faster. 
just like you would in, in the 2D animation process. Fascinating, so it's a really, really innovative. You think Tom would have done this? He seemed like such a chill dude, but we stopped hanging out for some reason. I wonder whatever happened to that guy. Look at this, he's staying still, he's going just with the hand. That's something an animator would do, right? So they don't need to redraw the whole pose of the body, they just redraw the hand doing this. Thinking like an animator. Dude, but we stopped hanging out for some reason. I wonder whatever happened to that guy. <laughs> How could you leak my information? Am I worth so- Are you seeing it? Are you seeing it being on, on ones and twos? Little to you, $3.73 per user per financial quarter. Oh, you son of a bitch. That bit is incredible. So let's check this out again. So here, for a long time, this is just a still image. It's not even slowed down. It's completely stopped, just like an animation would. Okay. And then you've got this. And this is like not something that realistically you would do. You wouldn't do this whole thing and like have it so that you're wobbling until you finally come to a come to a halt, right? Animation principles. He's performing just like an animated character. <laughs> Look at that throw. He goes like that, and he and he really follows it round like that. If that was enough for you to protect our ongoing friendship, how I would have just. You see that? He's repeating away. frames. He's literally playing the same mark. animation Maybe back Cambridge again. Analy Here's a fiver mark. Maybe Cambridge Analytica will sell you back my leaked details. <laughs> There's another five. They'll give me back my facial data. What else have I got? Oh look, a free falafel. Maybe that's worth my family profile. Actually, I think I want that. Anyway, I'm not gonna spoil the rest of it, but I think you should watch the full thing. I don't wanna spoil the entire film for you. What a combination. All the way back to Tarboy, I can see his animation style, but now I can see it in this kind of vlog format. And I'm sure that part of this style came from restraints. It's a unique style that looks really awesome when it's done by someone like James Lee. So I'm really interested to see where he's going to go from here, like what he's going to try and do next. I do want to talk more about this, but I also want to keep this video short. So now I'm going to talk a little bit about the courses that I offer on animatorguild.com. See you in the next one. Goodbye. If you want to make animations of your own, Mastering Motion is an advanced online animation course designed to train you in techniques that go far beyond the principles of 2D animation. Advanced techniques like 3D hand-drawn camera movement, fight choreography, effects animation, character animation, as well as my reference process. If that sounds a bit too advanced for you, if you're a beginner, then I've got you covered as well with my Getting Started in 2D Animation course. This one lays the foundations of everything you need to make your own animated films. That includes drawing principles, animation principles, storyboarding principles, and the rendering process. And this is all in one place. You no need to hunt down obscure videos in distant corners of the internet. We build you up with animation exercises that grow in complexity as you learn more. It's a course that will help you to develop the ability to fully realize on the screen whatever crazy ideas are going on in your head. Go to animatorguild.com to learn more about these. The link is in the description and pinned in the top comment of this video. Subscribe to the channel, leave a comment if you like, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.